So you want to go to the top. It's six points. Well, this week we're trying to narrow down our designs, hopefully. So next week we can start building. It's a 35 by 27 inch. So oh, yeah. 8.8. We're going to be working on just prototyping out of Legos. Week one in Arizona. The key to doing well at this robotics competition, create a fast robot with an arm that can grip and score. Two little arms like this. Work. How high can the arm go that we're building? A three-piece arm, a two-piece arm, all these kind of things that we're working out. Yeah, like shaping it. Maria is vice president of the robotics team. It's just my little sister and I. Because oh, everybody's yeah. older. And moved yeah, everybody moved out. That's or right. got kicked out. <laughs> She's the sixth of seven children. All of my brothers and sisters were a students and they went from being a students to dropping out dropping out altogether yeah they did and my sister she got pregnant when she was younger and like everybody was kind of just expecting me to follow into their same footsteps you know everybody including her father she overheard him two years ago at her quinceanera her 15th birthday party he's like it's just a matter of time before she fails fails yeah he's just like it, it doesn't really matter what she does right now. I mean, she'll, she'll eventually give up. It hurts because everything I did was to make him happy, to make him proud. And out of all his kids, I've been, I've been the one who's helped him the most. Well, well, that's the way I see things, you know? And it hurt, like, just, like, listening to that. Did it motivate you in any way? Yeah, it did. It did? Yeah. I, I kind of just took it and, like, flipped it around, you know? Seeking. Oh, seek it. Now it's like, okay, if I'm going to get straight A's, it's not just for you anymore, it's for me. By 2050, minority students will be more than half of U.S. school children. Latino students are the fastest growing group, and they have the highest dropout rates. We have dropout rates in the minority community of 40, 50, 60 percent. That's morally unacceptable and economically unsustainable. What is the risk? if black and Latino students are not taking those high-level math classes? It's just a disaster. The Please. risk is that you have a country with a population who are excluded financially from the success of the nation. Because that's where the jobs are. That's where the jobs are. Maria's goal, to study solar engineering at Stanford. Of the 30,000 who apply there annually, 2,300 just 7% are accepted. I analyzed like all the classes I was taking, and with what I have, I wasn't going to be able to take calculus before the end of my senior year. What's wrong with taking just break calculus? Well, I, to get into the university that I want, I have to have cal at minimum calculus. So Maria took action, signing up 31 students and a teacher for an accelerated math class, which combines algebra and pre-calculus into one. Next, she had to find the money for that after-school class. Everybody else is like, oh, I'm not going to go. Are you kidding me? Go talk to the principal? No. What, what if I get in trouble? I'm like, you're not getting in trouble. You're asking for something. Maria's mother came with her to school every day to push for the new class. <laughs> Maria's father emigrated from Mexico in the 1960s. He learned English working in the backs of restaurants. Now he supports his family with Social Security retirement checks. What do you think motivates her? Her own will. I mean, she's uh, one, one self, but she can do a lot of things. She wants to be better than probably many people around her. This is square root of three. This is After months of lobbying, Maria finally got the math class. Tangent of 30 is what, Maria? Radical 3 over 3. Correct. It started in September with 32 students, but five months later, only 12 are left. Is she unusual? She's unusual. There are kids that, that have some degree of Maria in them. Maria tends to be the one out in the front. We're studying for our math final. Am I supposed to use sine or cosine? Cosine, and then you can use sine. Put this back, please. To stay in the advanced math class, Maria must study. These bolts are threaded into the hub. While her team tests and adjusts the robot's arm. Now, where is it hitting? It's been nine years since teacher Freddy Lajvardi started the team. His robotic alumni now work as engineers at Intel, 
and microchip, right, making yeah, two, three, four times what their parents earn. I got something to show you. It doesn't it's look very exciting. It's gonna blow your mind. This is an arm segment. Are you satisfied with it? Hi, yeah. Once we point out to the kids that these jobs are available and look at the salary you can make, once they see that, I don't have to push them anymore. I need to just get out of their way. Wait, look it up. They want to go all the way to the Nationals in St. Louis, where they'll face off against wealthy, highly rated schools. There we go. You worry that they've got a major advantage in this competition. As much as money they have, that's how much heart we have into it. That's how much harder we have to try. Lift. So it's on. Yeah. <laughs> wait, hold it. I'll hold it. I'll this year, Maria's team is working on a secret strategy. It's something neither the team in Tennessee nor the team in New Jersey has. You're gonna have to have at least six wheels on this thing. It's gotta go 20 it inches per second. If the pole's there and you're pushing onto the pole... Yeah. Sean is only a sophomore, but he's already a year ahead of Maria, a junior, in math. You'll take calculus next year. Yeah. That's a college-level class, right? I think so. I think a lot of schools do that. I think a lot of kids do take calculus in high school. Just two big motors. He's wrong. Only 16% of U.S. students take calculus in high school. Well, the way it works here is by sixth grade, the children begin only for math instruction. They start differentiating. In Montgomery, parents put kids on the track to advanced math in grade school. Probability distribution. I try to take classes that will challenge me. I'm trying to challenge myself as much as I can. Your brother's autistic. My brother has autism, yes. Do you think you view the world differently because you have a brother who's autistic? I feel that I have, like, no right to not use any abilities that I have, and that's why I want to challenge myself so much. So he's loaded his schedule, and he's a builder on his school's robotics team. You need to push in from the bottom up. Acquiring skills that will make him successful in an engineering program. This year, Sean's dad, a mechanical engineer, is volunteering on the robotics team. The first challenge for this team, their arm. It's going to be an elevator type thing. So it'll start up like this, and we'll just push it up like that. We're, we, we have two unknowns here. We have acceleration and torque. Yeah, we, this would be rotational momentum. Mm -hmm. We both take AP Physics. The class is helping me now because we know um, how to solve for like the amount of force needed in order to you know, lift up the elevator. Sean's teammates believe they have a winning design. Ready? Okay. Enable. The programmers are testing their new code. Go, woman. Are there any error messages? So. And it doesn't work. It's my code. Why, did it, why doesn't it work? In classrooms across Tennessee, there's a completely different sort of struggle, following a stunning admission from the former governor. Were you lying to parents about... Oh, we abs absolutely were.